In this presentation, we will discuss enterprise funds. Recalling that enterprise funds is one of the two categories of proprietary funds. Recalling that there are three categories of funds in general. The proprietary funds, the governmental funds, the governmental funds being the largest category. We here working on the proprietary funds and then the fiduciary funds. Recalling that the proprietary funds, such as the enterprise funds, use an accrual basis which is different than the largest grouping of funds the governmental funds which use the modified accrual basis also recalling that the enterprise funds are going to be those types of proprietary funds which have customers which are typically outside of the organization which is going to be the distinguishing factor or the main distinguishing factor of the other proprietary fund which is an internal service type of fund Per GASB standards, government must report certain activities in an enterprise fund if any of the criteria following are met. First criteria, the activity is financed with debt that is secured solely by a pledge of the revenues from fees and charges of an activity. Laws or regulations require that the activity's costs of providing services including capital costs be recovered with fees and charges instead of with taxes or similar revenues so you'll see here like a proprietary fund we have the costs that are going to be covered with the fees and charges acting more like a for-profit type of organization as opposed to taxes or other types of revenues that might be more standard types of revenues to a governmental organization those that aren't typically thought of as directly related to the services provided as opposed to here where we are thinking about items of revenue that are going to be directly related in essence to the service that are being provided. Pricing policies are designed to recover the costs of the activity including capital costs. So when we think about the pricing policies, what are we going to price these activities, these costs, these services that we have in our enterprise fund which is acting more like a for-profit type of organization because we have customers. If we're setting those pricing policies in such a way that we expect them to clear the costs of uh, the activity including capital costs then we would think that it's going to be something that's going to be accounted for as an enterprise fund enterprise funds use accrual basis of accounting and recall that when we think about the enterprise fund we're thinking about proprietary funds as opposed to the major grouping of funds those being the governmental funds governmental funds using the modified accrual basis the proprietary funds using the accrual basis so this is going to be more standard of what we would think in for-profit accounting different not the standard as we would think for most funds most funds falling into the group of governmental funds this one falling into the group of proprietary funds governments often model accounting structures developed in the private sector so when we think about the enterprise funds these are going to be the ones that are going to be most similar to private sector because we're going to have customers of the government in essence and therefore we're going to be running in a very similar fashion to a for-profit type of organization therefore the for-profit organizations based on market structures typically have very good models to follow so we can go and we can actually follow much more closely benchmark our activities our accounting system in relation to the for-profit type of organization much more so than we could do for other types of governmental entities which is kind of why there is a problem or many of the differences that arise in governmental accounting because there's these differences in how we would have to structure the accounting with relation to the objectives of governmental accounting here a lot more similarity given the fact of the type of fund we're talking about the enterprise fund the common examples are going to be utilities utilities is the most common example of a type of enterprise fund because the utilities oftentimes could be run by the governmental unit and of course most of the customers related to utilities will be outside of the governmental unit enterprise funds financial statements include statement of net position statement of revenue expenses and changes in fund net position and the statement of cash flows so this should look much familiar we're going to the first one of course the statement of net position similar to the balance sheet the net position given away that we're talking about governmental accounting of course rather than a balance sheet in terms of a for-profit type of accounting also gives us an idea that we're talking about a proprietary fund as opposed to a governmental type fund the governmental type fund using fund balance as kind of the equity type of section here using net position we then have the statement of revenues expenses and changes in fund net position which of course is similar to an income statement timing type of account 
within governmental accounting, we could see once again, this is indicating that this fund is on an, an accrual basis as opposed to a modified accrual basis by one, the expenses here as opposed to expenditures, which is used under a modified accrual basis. And once again, the net position here as opposed to a fund balance. And then of course, we have the statement of cash flows. We have the statement of cash flows with regards to the enterprise fund proprietary fund because it's going to be more similar to a for-profit accounting and using uh, a more full uh, standard or normal accrual type basis. Enterprise funds are included in the business type activities column in the government-wide financial statements.